This president, she said this. Listen, Tucker. They've marched. They've bled. Yes, some of them have died. This is hard. Every good thing is. We have done this before. We can do this again. We can do this again. It sounds like she's calling for more blood in the streets. Well, I mean, she's pointed to the civil rights movement as the template for all social and political change. And here's the guardian of law and order saying, if you don't like something, take to the streets and, and get rowdy. I mean, that's kind of the opposite message. I mean, first of all, it's not the civil rights movement. This is not 1962. Things are completely different. And by the way, what is she exactly is she talking about? She begins the tape by saying our rights are being eroded. Really, which rights? Can you be specific? You were the attorney general of the United States. There's so much reckless talk on the left right now that it's starting to rattle people, I think. But that's the last yeah. person you'd expect would be saying it. The former attorney general, sure. really? And Tucker, as I recall, uh, the election of the president of the United States was lawful and legal, and he's right. it. Well, and what exactly are the complaints? I mean, what, what rights are being eroded? In uh, what ways are we less free? What exactly are you talking about? Uh, upon further review, there almost there's no follow-up to that. And finally, in the big picture, no one, including James Clapper, sees any type of uh, collaboration between the Trump camp, collusion between the Trump camp and Russian intelligence. Right. Clapper says that yesterday. Uh, the early intelligence report yielded that, according to Marco Rubio and Senator Tom Cotton early. They just want to see what's going on. So let them see what's going on. But some people should report that the same people that say about wiretapping also see no collusion. Yeah, well, I mean, Clapper's also the one who told Congress that, you know, the NSA was not spying on American citizens. He <laughs> lied and was never held, ac held accountable yeah. for it. And by the way, lots of Republicans in the Congress defended him at the time. I wish they hadn't. We have a right to know if the government is spying on us. I have broken no laws. I'm an American citizen. I pay my taxes. Are they spying on me? That's a totally fair question. I have a right to know the answer to that. And I'm glad President Trump has brought this up because maybe it'll spur more people to demand, you know, a, a, a clear accounting of what exactly is going mm -hmm. on. Right, I want to find out if you are indeed happier sleeping longer and working at night and the only way to do that is to, to, to hack your emails <laughs> you've got my password we'll already, be watching brian. you tonight tucker at nine o'clock and brian announced earlier he is only happy if he's flying in the air on a motorcycle what makes you most happy tucker oh gosh uh, fishing with my dogs probably. not being on our show right <laughs> i love Come being on. on your show yeah. and i love you particularly i love you, you know. more <laughs>